Welcome back to Make, Build, Modify. I'm Justin, and today we're going to turn this pile of lumber into a picnic table. Okay, I'm going to break all this lumber down into the parts of the picnic table. I'm using my plans as reference during this build. These plans will be linked in the description and at the end of the video if you're interested. I'm currently cutting down all of the planks for the top and the seats of the bench. Now that I'm done with the tabletop and seat planks, I'm going to move on to the A-frame parts. I'm going to cut the horizontal pieces that hold the tabletop and the seats. My plans show that you get one small and one large out of an eight-foot piece of lumber, and that's important because these plans are designed to use 10 2x6s and to be as efficient as possible. Now that the horizontal pieces of the A-frame are cut, we can move on to the legs. The legs are basically parallelograms with angles cut on the top and bottom. My plans show the angle and the reference locations. You can get two legs out of one 8-foot 2x6, and there's a little bit of extra wood left over with these legs, so just pay attention and maybe move the location of those legs to cut out any unwanted knots or blemishes in the lumber. At this point, if you've done everything correctly, this is the last 2x6. It's going to be for the final cleat that goes underneath the tabletop boards and the two braces that keep the table from racking back and forth. This is the piece that needs to get ripped in half to produce the two braces. I usually get close and then flip the second board over and cut the last little scrap off so I don't have to try to get the blade exactly in the center. Taking a quick check on my angles to see if I'm getting them right. I designed the angle of these to cross each other under the table. That way the two pieces that are intersecting can have a screw go through them and they will be a little stronger for bracing. You'll see that a little later on in the video. I'm using a quarter inch radius roundover. This step is completely optional. You could use a rasp to kind of ease the edges, or you could do nothing. This is something that's extra in the build, and it just depends on how far you want to go with it. Now that all the pieces are ready to put together, I'm doing the layout for the A-frame. Uh, the plans show the distances to measure for the horizontal pieces relative to the legs. You could do this on a flat piece of plywood and just draw the lines. I prefer to use nails and create positive stops, and it's a lot easier when you're installing them. You don't have to think about where you're placing the pieces, especially if you're doing more than one picnic table. Now I can locate the horizontal pieces in the same location over and over again. Now I'm marking the offset for where the legs are going to cross through those horizontal sections, both top and bottom. And I'm going to line the legs up flush with the top of the top horizontal piece. I'm using a speed square to make sure it is. You want to run only one screw in the top portion and in the lower portion and do that on both legs. This allows you to adjust the A-frame before putting the rest of the screws in. I'm doing cross measurements to see if those two respective measurements are the same. And when they are, you can finish putting in the rest of the fasteners. Now for the tricky part. Uh, you have to line these up and fasten the first top piece without them falling over on you. You might want to get help with, from a friend uh, or just lean it against something like I did here. I'm finding the offset for this on each side and I'm going to tack one screw into it on each board. 
I'm also using a square to kind of estimate whether or not those are square to the top piece. Now you can put the second screw in and start moving forward with the rest of the top pieces. I always check to make sure that they're following the profile they should as I go. The same method can be used for installing the seat planks. I always push the first plank all the way up against the legs and then just make sure they have the right offset. Now it's time to flip the table over. I always sweep the floor or find a work surface that won't damage the top when I'm working on it because it's got to sit on the top. You might want to get help flipping the table over. We're going to install the cleat and the braces now. The cleat goes center on the underside of all the top planks and I install two screws per top plank. Now I need to mark center on the cleat and center on the two horizontal pieces of the A-frames. These center marks are going to give us a location for the braces. I'm aligning the first brace to one side of center and I'm using the same fasteners to run toe screws and end screws into the brace and I'm aligning the second brace to the other side of the line so they cross and I always add another screw going through the two braces. And there you have it, a complete picnic table that seats four. This should only take a couple hours if you follow my instructions and plans. I'll leave a link in the description and at the end. Thank you for watching.